Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to talk about six places that introverts commonly go to be alone, to escape social exhaustion, to recharge. Now, if you are an extrovert, this concept may seem foreign to you. However, as an introvert, I can tell you that it's not only something that we desire to do, it's something that we actually need to do. One place that we introverts commonly go to to be alone is sitting in our cars. Now, this may seem a little odd to you, and I used to go sit in my car to recharge before I even realized that's what I was doing. All I knew was that when I worked in an office building in downtown Austin, Texas, and I was around people a lot, sometimes for lunch, all I wanted to do was just go to a drive through restaurant, get my lunch, park my car by the lake through downtown Austin, Lady Bird Lake, and just sit in my car and eat my lunch and have some peace and quiet. There's something about the enclosure of the car and me being all by myself than if I'm in a crowded restaurant, even if I'm over there eating by myself. You ever notice this? Whenever you go out and you park your car in a parking lot and you're walking through the parking lot and you'll see maybe the car next to you or maybe you'll walk by cars where there's just somebody sitting in the car all by themselves and they're not talking on the phone, they don't seem to be doing anything, they're just sitting in the car. Now this doesn't mean that everybody who's doing this is doing it because they're introverted, but often it is the case. The person just wants to sit in the car, their car and whoever they are with can go inside wherever it is while they just sit out there and get some peace and quiet. The second place that introverts commonly go to get that solitude and alone time is in nature. There's something about being outside, being away from all of the noise inside of buildings and crowded places. Whenever we get into nature, it just helps us to really feel like we are alone. And not only do we get that solitude time, if, if we're out walking or bicycling or whatever it is, then when we're out in nature, it actually not only is comforting to us, but it is energizing for us. So keep in mind, if an introvert tells you, I'm gonna go out for a walk, it could be that they really wanna take that walk by themselves because they do need that escape. So be sure and give them that freedom. The third place that introverts like to go for solitude is cubicles. Cubicles, now this seems kind of odd, but you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes they're in office buildings, sometimes they're in airports or airport lounges. I often think, the person who invented these was probably an introvert because there's something so comforting and so secure about being able to just go sit inside one of those cubicles. And I think the reason why is because the sides are covered, the front is covered. We're not having to look out at everybody else. We're not having to make eye contact with anybody. We can just be secure in that cubicle. The other great thing about cubicles is when you're in a cubicle, People aren't gonna usually come up and talk to you unless they really have to. The cubicle sends that signal that you actually want to be alone. So it's a place where you're probably not going to be disturbed by other people. The fourth place that introverts commonly go, and I'm gonna categorize these together, are these quiet places. Places like bookstores, places like libraries, places like art galleries, places where there's not a lot of noise and places where you're actually supposed to be quiet. That is just music to an introvert's ears is to say, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go spend some time in a place where people aren't supposed to talk. So not only is there not an expectation to talk, but there's an expectation to not talk. The fifth place that introverts commonly go are coffee shops or tea rooms. Those kind of places where it's different than a noisy restaurant where there's a lot of people talking. It's very common to see people at these kind of places 
either working on their computer or reading a book or just being by themselves. The great thing about these places is you commonly see people by themselves in these places. So it's not like you're going to a restaurant on a Saturday night and most everybody has people around them and people that they're talking to. And some introverts, not all of them, but some introverts don't feel comfortable going out to places by themselves. Others are 100% fine with it. I used to hate it, and now I am 100% fine with it. But those introverts that are just starting to get used to going out by themselves, those kind of places feel safer than a crowded restaurant where almost everybody is with other people. The sixth place introverts go to be alone is to their room. Their room or their safe space where they can shut the door and be by themselves. That is treasured, treasured space. Let me tell you, I was at the Maxwell Leadership Conference last week in Orlando, and it's a very high energy, very social conference. There's thousands of people there. And so every time I go to this conference, which is every six months, I have to make trips up to my room during the day just to get that alone and recharge time. The amazing thing is the people that I see also going up in the elevators during the day as well, a lot of times we've shared with each other that that is the reason why we're going up in the middle of the day because they need that recharge time too. So it's not just me. Just being by yourself, even it's, if it's 15 minutes, 30 minutes or an hour can be so treasured. Having that solitude, having that alone time really does help recharge your social battery. So take advantage of any place that you can. And you probably have some places of solitude yourself. And if you would like to share those so we can all learn from each other, please do that in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.